Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great weekend uh, and also enjoying the uh, summer weather and of course um, finding ways to stay healthy so you can enjoy this time of the year, um, spend time with friends and family and something that I wanted to share with you, it's maybe um, I think is a topic that can affect all of us and is how to stay healthy when you want to go out and eat at a restaurant or go out and have fun at a social event and you're trying to stay on track maybe if you're um, having issues with um, maybe a health condition or just you know when you're trying to uh, make the best choices so you can take care of your health and also feel your best and still be able to enjoy so I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you can maybe start incorporating so you can continue to enjoy when you are eating out. So one of the things that I personally do is when you're going out, it's good that you know your menu. So you can maybe either go on the website or just call the place and ask what are the options that they have so you can have a plan. Maybe if you have uh, food allergies or if there's a specific restriction, you can maybe find a couple of things that you know you can have when you get there. So you're not going crazy when you're looking at the menu. And you can also make modifications. So maybe swapping some ingredients, maybe asking for the, the uh, waitress or the chef to make some changes and accommodate your, um, your diet or your preferences when you eat out. The other one, the next one is to choose veggies and skip the fries so if you are someone who every time you go out you like to have fries maybe uh, having some roasted vegetables or maybe just swapping the french fries and have sweet potato fries just as simple as that so you're not always having french fries or fried foods when you're going out another one is don't drink your calories this is a big one especially around this time of the year when you have social gatherings or you go to a barbecue or a birthday party and it's outdoors uh, and maybe if you always go for the sweet drinks or alcohol so it is very important that you don't uh, you know indulge in alcohol or uh, sweet drinks when you go out and maybe you make sure that you don't have um, you know, you're not on an empty stomach. Uh, you have something before. And also um, just try to have maybe seltzer with some fun ingredients like lemon and mint. Uh, or maybe just ask what other drinks uh, are there so you don't have something that is too heavy or too much. Um, another one is ask for side dressing options. So this is also a big one. If you have sensitivities, if you are someone who enjoys having specific things but are not sure what to put on your food, uh, it's always good to have maybe um, olive oil or avocado oil. Also having some spices, um, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, anything that you can um, add to maybe uh, your salad or maybe just use it for uh, different foods that you're having instead of just adding a lot of different sauces that you're not very sure about. So that's something that I always ask for. And always ask for fresh lemon as well. Eat a salad before a heavy meal. This is actually very good to start your digestion. If you are going to a restaurant and you're not very sure what you're having, or if you know that the food is too heavy and you wanna start with something uh, that can help you digest, and not feel really bad after you eat. Uh, you can have some veggies, um, maybe just a fresh salad. And this will also allow you to not indulge or overeat because by the time you finish your salad or your um, starter or um, appetizer, then you're not going to feel so, so empty and you can maybe just eat half of the portion. Uh, chew your food a big one mindful eating when you're eating sometimes we tend to overeat because we eat too fast and this is probably not helping you so when you're out this is actually a great opportunity to slow down uh, and because you're eating while you're talking it is good that you take your time 
So just enjoy the food, take your time, and if you don't eat the whole plate, you can actually um, save whatever is left for home or just not eat the whole thing. This is actually going to help you do that. Chew your food and take it slow. Another one is take half to go. You don't have to eat everything that is on your plate. Sometimes we order foods and it's really a lot. It's a lot of food to sit and have in one sitting or one serving. So you can always eat some and you um, prepare yourself to take half or some home so you can eat less and also enjoy your food and feel better. And the last one is uh, eat a healthy snack before going out. This is actually something that I do practice. Uh, if you have food restrictions or if you're going somewhere where you know there's not a lot of options or also if you are very hungry you know that when you get to the restaurant you might be very hungry and you're gonna have to wait because sometimes there's a waiting um, you know list or waiting time and by the time you sit down your insulin can be very high or it can be very low because of the amount of time that you have not eaten anything and then that is going to affect your digestion, also food reactions, and it also going can also hurt your health and also uh, more chances to gain weight. So every time you go out, I recommend that you maybe have a smoothie before, maybe a small snack like a handful of peanuts or nuts, maybe dry fruits, maybe just have a fruit, maybe a tangerine, an apple, uh, maybe have some almond butter, peanut butter, uh, with maybe um, apple slices, just have something before you go. So you're not empty completely when you get to the restaurant and you're gonna have a better experience and also have a feel better after. So these are just some simple tips that you can incorporate when you go out. Still have fun, maybe uh, change some habits that you have and also improve your health at the same time. All right guys, I hope this was helpful and have a great week.